Coconuts. I love coconuts. Gracia coconota. I know this mantra doesn't sound too serious, but the spirit understands what I'm saying because it's an intention, it's gratitude to the island of Bali for giving us such beautiful, full of energy and delicious, sweet water in there. So we are going to open some coconuts and behave like jungle people. Did you make breakfast for two? Yeah. Yeah. For two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to let you starve, man. <laughs> we need you on the planet. Beautiful men. Empowering each other. Real brothers. Second one. Kiss the coconut. Gracias, coconota! Filter this delicious, nutritious. I tend to have about coco two coconuts a day. So this is the water of two coconuts. Very often you have it filled to the top. But uh, yeah, it's nature, you know. We surround it, rice fields around. When I need more coconuts, I send a text message to a guy who grows and climbs the trees next door, and uh, he brings me more coconuts. Chop it! <sighs> Full flesh. It's amazing. Fresh beauty. It's all slimy. Mm. It's one of my favorite moments in the, in the day. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, but Shiva, I live in New York. There are no coconuts in New York. The, the goal here is to be able to adapt to any environment. Like there are lots of people who would be living here in this place and it would be like, oh, there are bugs, there are mosquitoes, there are snakes. It's too hot, it's too cold, uh, there is pollution in town. You know, you can, wherever you are, you can always find excuses not to be happy or why you cannot um, do something healthy. But all these excuses, they are always just excuses. The goal as human race, as human beings, I feel, I mean, that's, that's what, I, what I feel I've been doing in this lifetime, is to be able to adapt to any environment and to master those environments. You know, you don't have to duplicate exactly what I'm doing here if you're not in a tropical place. You know, if you live in Sweden, you have a different type of forest. You will have berries at a certain season. And then suddenly you have these long, long nights in the middle of the winter and it's minus 20 or 30 degrees outside. You know, it's a different environment, but you still have to learn how to adapt to that. To that. What you are seeing here is uh, me in a tropical environment. But I take off and I spend 10 days in the high Himalayas, in the glaciers. Of course, I don't have coconuts, but I have something else. You know, I'll have some ginger, I'll have some, some different forms of um, flour and, uh, you know, other types of foods that I'm going to be eating. I'm not going to be topless because it's like minus 10 at night. I will be sleeping on rocks or in different environments. If I'm in the city, for instance, if I was in New York right now, I would still be running through the streets, find ways of getting some fresh juice somewhere in a shop nearby or go to a local, um, you know, Whole Foods and get some uh, organic vegetables and make my own juices. Uh, you always have the possible different different options and uh, it's important to keep that in mind you don't have to duplicate exactly what I'm doing you just need to be to be smart in uh, in all that when you chop the coconut it's important to make a wild sound it really helps
That's it. We're done with the coconuts. Let's go to the next stage.